Okay, so we're going to try Jay's Two Cents idea here of using a hand vacuum pump to fill your computer. So I have two computers running off of one water loop here. I've got a 5950X on this CPU running into this radiator, going down to my 2970WX over here, and then into the reservoir, into the pump combo from Corsair. And I've got the brake, the brake bleeder vacuum pump kit from Harbor Freight here hooked up. Uh, it came with this little tube here, and I've literally got it shoved in a piece of Corsair soft tubing, and that seals enough to make a vacuum here. And then here's my um, valve here, my drain valve. I've already drained the system about as good as I can get it to drain, and we are going to pressurize or vacuum the system down and then crack this open so we can try and fill it. So... I think I also have a method to fill this air here. If you watched his video, it had some air show up in his system, and he believed it to be from this tube here. I believe if you open this valve, if you open the valve while you create a vacuum, it will pull the fluid up to here, so then you don't get as much air up there. My system is going to be complicated because I have two loops practically going through one um, one radiator and that makes it quite complicated to get all the air out. Uh, I lifted this computer up trying to get it to be higher than the drain so I could drain it. It worked out decently well. There's a little bit of fluid still left in these tubes and you can see these tubes have actually died over time. Uh, I don't remember when I built this loop. I can probably put that in the description or annotate it here if I can find it. But here we go. We're going to pressurize the system here and see what we can get. I'm going to go ahead and try to open this valve and get this air out while we're at it. So this is now open, and I'm going to go ahead and start pumping. So that's all I needed right there. I am not even pressurized yet, and that was almost enough to fill it. So I'm going to pump it just a little bit more right into there. And I'm just holding it here on the, valve, on the pump kit. And now this valve is locked, so now that should not move. Um... I, I really believe it to be that simple to be able to not have to deal with um, the air here. So now this valve is locked, so I'm going to go ahead and pressurize it. That's already at about 7. I'm going to keep going a little bit. So right about 10, the soft tubing does start to collapse a little bit here. But that seems to be fine. Uh, the soft tubing over here is also collapsing slightly. Uh, 10 to 15 I saw was about where I was more, most comfortable. I really wouldn't go up to 15 unless you really feel like you need to. Even right this second, it's actually pulling air pockets out into the little uh, canister here. And um, so I'm literally just going to pump it up to about 10, get it to hold for a second. As you can see, I can get all of the water out, uh, but it is what it is. So at about 10, that should be enough. I'm going to crack this valve and just let it fill. So 3, 2, 1. And I'm going to shut it back off. So even that much, and I'm using red this time, you can see kind of how far it got. So it got it down into the Threadripper block here and up into the radiator on this side. And as you can see, it didn't fill all the way because I didn't pull a super huge vacuum and I have a complicated loop. So I'm going to do it a second time, actually. So as you can see, this is already pre-filled. I've got a little bit left here in the canister here. The problem is if, you're, if your canister runs out here, you're going to suck air up into your loop. So try to make sure you top this off. Um, matter of fact, I am going to do that. I am going to, I'm, I'm going to pause and I'm going to refill this. I'll be right back. So with the tube already in here, I don't want to pull it out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shove my funnel in here next to it, about like that, and I'm gonna fill it up. So I have Corsair's XLR8 red here that we're using for right the second, because I am going um, to Florida for Cletus and Cars and um, the Freedom 500. So I won't be in town, so I don't want to do a full clean. But before I leave, I wanted to switch my fluid out because it was getting quite bad. So. I am filled back up now, and I'm going to take my funnel back out just to give us a little bit more seeing room. And we are already pressurized again, back up to about 7, 
So I'm going to go up to 10 again. Like I said, 10 was about where I felt comfortable running it. So even right now it's pumping air out and letting fluid go through the loop. And as it does, the air is going to come up and get caught in this canister here, which is nice about this, this kit. Uh, you could, in theory, directly connect this tube from the vacuum into the loop. I don't necessarily think that's the best move because I don't know how well this is going to do if you get water in it. Uh, so I would I would just leave the canister in it. That way, if you do get fluid up in it, it would just fill and drop into the canister. This kit, I think, was like 25 bucks, which is insane honestly this actually does work this good and as you can see i mean the the radio this is full like the the reservoir is full i could turn the pump on and run the pump and just let it push it through i just want to get as much fluid into the system as i can without having to crack this open and do it by hand essentially so with this loop pressurized again we're going to do it one more time three two one and we've got another about 200 200 milliliters because we're down to about 300 here in our canister so where does that leave us we get some red down here into this tube uh it didn't make it up into the cpu I, I found that it pushing it up into here i could do this seven or eight times and it would do it because i was flushing it doing this method so i know it works uh, but yes this method is insane for filling the loop the first time um i i honestly saw his video and was astonished that it worked so well but even literally a $25 hand pump kit works as good as he theorized it would. So if you if you have a complicated system or you're looking for better ways to fill it without having to sit there and loop the pump 14 times, honestly, this can't be beat. I mean, $25, and this came with everything I needed. I didn't have to go get any special fittings. I mean, it's literally this, this little piece of tube came with it, and I'm just shoved into the regular soft tubing, and it's honestly insane. All right, so for kicks, one more time, I'm going to pressurize the system. Third time's the charm. So I'm going to go right back up to 10. And I'm getting fluid into here. I'm, I've pulled all the air I can out of the reservoir here. So this is the last time I can do this. Okay, so that's, that's it. That is as much as I'm going to get out of it. So I still have air over here that didn't get to get pushed through up and out. Um, and like I said, at, at 10 to 15... The soft tubing starts collapsing anyway, so it's it's not going to give you any benefit of running a higher pressure than what this hand pump can even put out. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn the pump on, and I'm just going to let it cycle through some. So here we go. Pump's going to cycle up. Pump cycling back down. There's still plenty of air in the system, but there's not a lot I can do about that. And the loop is running. The loop has a little bit of air pockets that are coming through here. I mean, you're going to get a little bit of that no matter what you do. If I was going to do an actual full system flush, I would use the coolant and flush the coolant one whole time. But I got most of the water out by using the vacuum pump that I normally wouldn't have been able to get out. And I already flushed it twice before that to make sure it was coming out completely clear water and not any uh, discoloration on the water itself. So there's the red going up into the JS2 Cent CPU block on the 5950X. Back down into the thread ripper down here. There is a significant amount of air in this block that I can't really easily show you. But that's normal on any freshly looped or fresh, freshly filled system. The water pump itself will literally pull all of the air out after a few days. So I'm not going to super worry about it. There's how you fill it. Uh, using the vacuum brake bleeder and vacuum pump kit from Harbor Freight. 25 bucks, and honestly, it makes a world of difference trying to fill your loop for the first time. I can promise you, the first time I tried to fill all of this, because this is a really fancy loop, having all of this extra run, trying to cool two CPUs on the same loop, it was a significant pain getting all of the air to push through this, through that CPU block, back up through the radiator and into the pump using just the pump. Using this vacuum kit made life so much easier. And if I'd have known that the first time, I'd have dropped $25 absolutely no problem. I hope this was interesting for you guys. And I hope that uh, even just showing off that this little brake bleeder kit makes that much of a difference, can help you. 
Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. Let me know if you need anything. Till next time. Peace. Bonus clip here. So this little bit of water that's still sit or coolant that's sitting here, literally just to get it out, is because the tube is most of the way down to the bottom of this canister. Literally just start picking up on it. And as soon as air starts entering it, just hold it there. And literally it will drain right out. And then you can remove your tube from your fitting, put your cap back on there, and you're good to go. Also, I don't actually know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to get this coolant back in the loop. So I'm literally just sitting here pumping this. And it looks like it's letting some back. Huh, neat. Oh, now I have a vacuum, so it's literally pulling some of the air up, too. There you go. That got a whole bunch of it back in there. And while it's holding upside down, I'm going to push the release valve. Oh, there it is. There's the move. Get you a little bit of pressure in there and hit the release valve. And then it dumps most of whatever's in the canister back in there. Now, if you want to get rid of any of the contaminants or anything in here, I wouldn't do that. But I know that this was fresh coolant that got sucked into here. And I cleaned it out before I did this anyway. So there is the move. Get some pressure in there and then hit the release. Well, it gets most of it back in there.